Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Back to the reverse facing camera because I've got a couple of mail calls here. Well, one's a mail call and one I've went and picked up. And the one that I picked up today, I wasn't expecting to get to next week, but I thought, you know, stuff it. I've got a little bit of time before I start work today, first day back at work. I'm looking forward to getting back into work. And I've got some soaps here, so I've went and picked them up today. So what I've got here is, right, first off, this one is a lone soap for obvious reasons, given the cost of it. Uh, but I'm looking forward to using it. It's one of his favorite soaps. That is the ingredients list. See if you guys know what it is before I flick it over, even though it says the name there. And it's Martin de Condra. Now, this is the unscented soap. Shit, it's a lot of soap. Is that right? <laughs> Craig, have you used this? <laughs> like seriously, have you actually even touched this soap? So, <laughs> That soap is level with the rim. So this is one of his favorite soap bases. I can see it's like half a millimeter lower than the top. Unscented, but there's a scent off it. it. actually smells all right. But this is the unscented version. He loves his soap. This is from Craig, the owner of Face Fat, the artisan of Face Fat shaving soap, which probably lets you know what else is coming. So then we've got this little bad boy here. Now this is unscented, but this is Craig's first iteration of Barbershop. And it's actually quite nice. It's quite a, a herby Barbershop. But yeah, it's nice. Oh, that is nice. Now, it says the scent off the tub isn't the best because it's in these metal tubs. But when it's in the plastic tub, it's better. But once I lather it up, he did say that the, the scent will come out then. I've got a couple of packets of... Now, I don't think I've tried these. Supermax Blue Diamond, which are platinum coated blades. I'm sure I've tried Supermax before, but that packet doesn't ring a bell in my mind. And then we have, for my own pleasure, one face fat lavender. Oh, spot on. Now, one thing I mentioned with Craig was the way the soap goes in the tub, and he's quite clearly fixed that. Looks spot on. It's all the way around the tub now. There's no gaps and holes and stuff like that. Beautiful lather, la lather, lather into lavender scent, which is really nice. Now, I'm not a big fan of floral. You guys know that. That have followed me for long enough. So. For me to say that it's a nice scented lavender, it's quite a quite a bold statement really. And then we have Green Fougere from Face Fat. Now, I've smelled the original Green Fougere, or the original Fougere. Now the green part, I believe, comes from the winter green that's in it, which is quite an unusual scent to use in a Fougere, I believe. But let's have a snifter of the final product. Oh, that's a massive difference. I can still smell the winter green, which I love. Winter green is one of my favourite scents on the planet. But I can smell the woodsy notes now behind it. There's a little bit of citrus there. Yeah, that's a much, much more balanced scent. Definitely, 100% more balanced. Beautiful. And then, just for you guys out there in the giveaway, there is the five giveaway soaps. So there's two Jaffa and three Green Fougere in there. And I think you'd be absolutely over the moon with them. The green fougere smells lovely. It really does. And I think that it's a real sort of unique take on a fougere. One that I've certainly not smelled before. And fougere is definitely something I'm starting to enjoy now. Right, into the next box, which as you can see, came from the States. Now this one was a, a sort of a surprise. <laughs> They're as bad at keeping secrets as I am, but it was sort of a surprise. I, I don't think I was supposed to know about it, but he sort of dropped a hint on it. And this was sent over from the very, very kind people at Lather Bros. Now, obviously, these guys that send soaps to me, they go on my channel, and people end up buying them. Now, I have very, in fact, I couldn't honestly tell you about a time I've actually recommended something highly, someone's bought it and then said it's shit. 
So generally on my channel, you get an honest review. If it's good, it's good. If it's great, it's great. If it's brilliant, it's brilliant. But if it's shit, it's shit. Or average, it's average. I'll tell it as it is. Now, Lather Bros, for me, is one of the best soaps on the market. Now this has got, very nice. So Lather Bros card. Hey Chris, enjoy the goodies, Stephanie and Andre. Now, Stephanie and Andre are obviously over in the States. Andre's a Man United man as well. I've got my Man United shirt on, which is very nice. And let's see what we've got. We have got, I'm assuming this is a, that's, well, that's pretty cool. A little sample soap here of Miami Mojito, which is basil, mint and lime shave soap. Really nice packaging for a, for a sample soap. That's quite impressive. So just a little sticker on there, a little zip. The thing I like about that is it's zip sealed and then it's completely sealed so the scent should be spot on in there and do you know what I might as well just crack it open because I'm going to use it. Let's have a snifter. Wow. That was really nice. I don't know whether this has got menthol on it. Now there's no, the only thing on here is there's no ingredients list so if you want. No, oh, here's messed you mate. Well, apparently my Lather Bros delivery has just been delivered. <laughs> That's a lovely scent. It's a great scent strength as well. I can smell the basil, I can smell the mint and I can smell the lime. The lime is actually quite... You don't smell it like it's lime, it just zings up the basil and the mint. It's really nice. Right, next up. Oh, this is what I've been looking at for ages. So, here's the tubs here from Lather Bros now. Now, you're not getting sold shot. It doesn't look that they've stopped using the hollow tubs, the tubs that had the sort of hollow tub inside. So your tub, your soap goes right to the edge. It's a very thin tub, which I quite like, but you still get your four ounces of soap in here. I know Spencer will be drooling when he sees this. And this one is Irish Cubano, tobacco and Irish tweed scent. Now I love green Irish tweeds or cool water from Davido, which apparently is a very similar scent. Well, it is quite similar when I put it next to the other scented green Irish tweed soaps that I've used. The labels from Lather Bros now are just superb. They're so, so professional looking. It's a little bit off center. <laughs> just a little bit, a little smidgen off center. <laughs> but that's me being a picky fucker. It's just a little bit off center from top to bottom. I love the new labels, absolutely brilliant. Now, nothing else on there. You whip that off and there's all your ingredients on the inside of the lid. So that is your ingredients list. This is the new formula from Lather Bros. It is a tallow formula. That smells freaking awesome. It's really got that green Irish tweet thing and then there's just a little bit of tobacco. A little bit of that cigar thing going on. That is beautiful. Wow. Four ounces of soap. Doesn't look like much in that little tub, but there's a good bit of weight in there. And I do like the size of the tub. It's a great size tub. Right, on to the next one. This is quite an exciting milk. Oh, I didn't realise how much stuff they sent over. This is another one that I've, that I've been looking for. This is one that really intrigued me when I saw the scent profile. They've really cracked. They've, they've really, really upped their game with the labels and stuff. These just look brilliant. Takeout night. Sweet chilli, ginger and lemongrass. It's one of my favourite meals, this, when you get a tuttle, like your meal in a box like that with chop chopsticks. I really enjoy using chopsticks. So here we go. Once again, ingredients. So that's up that way. And that's up that way. <laughs> and here we go. God, that's me. All right. I was expecting, I was expecting this to smell like noodles. It sounds crazy. I think it's because the box is in the front. It's not, it's a really sweet, complex scent. I'm getting the lemongrass and the ginger coming through. That's just really nice. That just smells beautiful. I'm not, I don't know whether I'm getting the sweet chilli. It'd be interesting to see if there's any sort of heat from it when you use it. There probably isn't, but you just never know. And then we've got, floating down the bottom here. Another another one that I wanted to try. I've seen this label, this label knocked my socks away. Knocked them off and blew them away at the same time. 
really well packaged. Tropical Bay Rum. This is the one that the, the colour scheme, the label, everything. This was the one that sort of started off the revolution of new labels and soaps. Soap base. And here we go. Oh, that's a bit different. I wasn't expecting that. That's lovely. It doesn't actually say on here what. That's a stunning scent. Just checking here. Right, now it looks like they've gone back to, from what I can see, aloe vera juice. Oh, that's, that's an amazing scent. Aloe vera juice, and then we've got, was it the same in here? Let me have a look, let me have a look. Aloe vera juice yet, now, it's not in there either. So it looks like the last set of soaps that I got, Devils on the Field that they made for me, and I can't remember the other ones, but they had pineapple puree in it. That's gone, so I don't know whether I had a bit of reaction to one of the one of the balms or one of the soaps. I can't remember exactly what one. So as you can see, again, really well packaged. They've just wrapped that on the top with some cling film. It just holds that lid in place, and then once again, great packaging. You've got your actual. Is it tape? Is it? Is it? Let me have a look. Let me see how this comes off. It is, it's really well sealed. I'm really impressed with the packaging. So as you can see, that just pops off, that holds it all shut and absolutely zero leakage. Same lovely bright coloured labels, nice and centralised on the front. The back one's a little bit off, but that's not so bad. It's just the front labels that get me, really. That's your ingredients for the balm. And let's have a sniff to... I've just got you that I live over here and I miss out on the splashes because I bet they're amazing. Right. I'm not even squirt that out and I can smell it. Brilliant. And it just keeps going. But I've got something here. I don't know what the hell it is. I'm going to leave that for last. In fact, it's a splash. <laughs> well, I think it is. Right, I'll take this one off now. Once again, it's got this really great packaging on it. It looks a bit of a pain in the ass to get off. But it's better that than losing half your balm in transit. Just really well packaged, really well presented, really well done. They've really, really upped the game over there. But I'm just going to unscrew this and have a smell. Oh, it just smells exactly like it. it smells exactly like the soap. Take out night. I'm just going to take the lid off this one as well. Just have a bit of a smell. Oh, yeah. Tropical Bay Rum. Now, there's no real smell of clove or anything in there, which I really like. The clove can become just a little bit too much sometimes. I do love clove, but just in a soap it can be just a little bit overpowering. And a lot of people react to it, including myself, I've reacted to a couple of bay rums. Luckily the recent ones I've had I haven't. And here we go, Irish soup. Look at these labels. They just look brilliant. Yeah, Stephanie and Andre have really knocked this out of the park. And that just smells like the green Irish tweed, but that little slate. It's not a lot of tobacco scent in there, but you can just get it just. I'm thinking once it lathers up it might open up more. And then we have this. So I don't know what this is. Let's have a look. This is a little sneaky one that they've snuck in the parcel. Because it's not actually in the description. But it's made it all the way to Australia. It has leaked a little bit. I think. I'm not sure what this is actually if I'm honest. Once again, packaged to the ends of the earth. Yeah, there's definitely a little bit of leakage on this one. Hopefully it's not damaged the label. Just give it a quick dry off. It's only minimal, it's only a tiny little bit of seepage. has had a slight impact on the label but not much. I can just see some of the where some of the cling wrap or the saran wrap or whatever they call it in the States has just been on the label and then the alcohol's went down and behind it. Right, let's get this lid open up. 
really excited for this one. I think what's happened here, I think the lid's just been squashed a bit and it's just allowed some of the some of the liquid to escape, but I'm assuming not much. Oh now I can get the I'm getting the tobacco fruit now, but the actual green Irish tweed sort of it's really nice. Well well that all up, including my face fat, was quite a amazing unboxing. I'm really really over the moon with that. I can't believe they've sent so much stuff over. Wow, all the scents are phenomenal. The new labelling is amazing. As you can see, the, I don't know what you'll probably be able to see actually. So there's the, the label for the splash. Really nice, but you can probably, you, actually I don't think you will see it. I can get the light, the right light angle on it now. So there's not really much in it. Alcohol, water, calendula, witch hazel, glycerin, menthol, alum, essential oils and fragrance. That's all you got in there. That's your full ingredients list there. Smells brilliant. Lather bros have really, really upped the game. They really are. The tubs, the labels, the balm bottles, the splash bottle, it's just they've really upped it. Even the sample packet looks classy. So I'm really impressed with that. And then you've got face fat, which is obviously the new Australian artisan, which is brilliant. Lovely green fougere. And then the lavender. Oh yeah. Great scent strengths as well. Just oh, what more can you say really? Just really humbled. The giveaway has wiped me out. Believe it or not, it's really wiped me out. So once all these packages go out, there'll be quite a few things. Not not very much happening in the den. There'll be a lot of outgoings in terms of reducing the size of my den, but there won't be much coming in. And thanks enormously to Lather Bros and Face Fat for looking after me on cost of their stuff, but Lather Bros for sending stuff over from the States. Not only is the postage expensive, but then they've got all the tubs and all the soap and all the products and everything. So I'm just blown away and very humbled by it all. It just uh, knocks my socks off. It's amazing. And I cannot wait to get started. I don't know what to use today now. I really don't. I'm absolutely stumped for what to use. I might use the Martin de Condre and then work on, I don't know. I'm actually quite excited to do with this. I'm excited to get back into the carb razor as well. So anyway, that's it. That's the meal call done. Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed that. If you've got any questions about lather bros, face fat, or anything that you've seen, flick my message on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, email me at anothercutabove at gmail.com if you have any questions. But other than that, you guys stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.